and <laughs> and smoking what's going on guys it's your man c to the j to the c y'all know how i be straight from miami Dade county the 305 and welcome to my channel y'all already know how i do it's story time we we do freestyles i have fun with that shit and then we do like a uh, type shit i got new glasses on sunglasses on today Y'all know I usually wear the black one, but the white one, look, I couldn't find the black one. That's what it is. Hey, it's a beautiful day, Memorial Day weekend. I'm off tomorrow. We vibing. We vibing, bro. Like, bro, you know how tired I am? Waking up like 7 a.m. in the morning. Because I'm like, y'all, I don't got no car, bro. I got to get the bus. The bus, bro. So, like, if my shift start at 10, I got to catch the 8 o'clock bus. Two hours before my shift, I always got to leave the house. So I got to wake up 7 in the morning to make sure I catch the 8 o'clock. But it'd be crazy. But tomorrow I'm off, bro. Paid. Paid off. What y'all mean? Y'all jobs don't pay y'all when y'all off. But mine do. <laughs> I'm playing, guys. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Y'all be playing, bro. Like, just like, subscribe, comment. All you got to do is click the like button. And then you go and you comment. You could be like, bro, CJC, you trash. I'll be like, all right, we vibing. Oh, CJC, I, I, I just sub. I appreciate you. Uh, CJC, shut the F up. Bruh, just chill. Anything like that, bruh, and I'm all good with You can even unlike as long as there's interaction in the video. I'm vibing. So today we're back with another episode of story time. We vibe. The white sun guys look weird, though. You know I love my black one. Uh, bro, I gotta get the back one. <laughs> like, but the way it don't matter. No face, no case. And you know how it is, bro. I stay with the sunglasses on till the sun stops shining to the very You know, bro. But today in story time, we're gonna talk about the fork where we're going back to elementary school. There's so much story for elementary school. Middle school, too. You know how I was tired of people in my high school, bro. I wanna spit their shit. Yeah, but you know, you two, I was a spit shit, and you two F me up. But we vibing. We are vibing, bro. All we got to do is like, subscribe, comment, hit that bell. So every time I put a video up, we'd be like, all right, so let's start the story. Let's stop wasting time, bro. I know y'all times are important, so we ain't going to waste none of it again. But, yeah, shout out to my day ones, K-Love, and everybody else who always, like, look at all my videos. Check out the playlists, bro. I don't know how much story times I've uploaded, but we got some good-ass ones. And if y'all ain't seen them, like, check my place in my channel. I'm going to update that trailer, though, that trailer trash. I'm going to update trailer. I'm going to soon have an intro. I'm going to have an outro. I got a lot of plans for this channel, but y'all got to vibe, be patient, and wait for the fame to go up. You feel me, though? You feel me, though? All right, so um, story time today. We're going to talk about the fourth grade and two important teachers that made the fourth grade a year to remember in elementary school. And those teachers are Mr. Pierre and Mr. Camille. <laughs> All right, bro. All right. I went to a good ass elementary school, bro. Tucson over to elementary 59th Street, Miami Dade County, bro. If you ain't going there, you missed out. I know y'all got some elementary school um stories. So all right. All you gotta do is email me. I'm gonna share y'all stories. Remember, in my comments, I always say if you want advice, if you want me to share any stories, because sometimes one day I'm gonna run out of stories. So I need y'all to provide me y'all stories so I can share it with y'all consent. And then basically, like we vibing. Yeah, all right. So Fourth grade year, Mr. Pierre, and Mr. Camille. So it was in third grade. I told my third grade story yesterday about the FCAT. The teacher had Miss Steve going to honor roll. When I survived that, I moved on to fourth grade. But going on to fourth grade, we all heard stories like, oh, there's these two new teachers. One's named Mr. Pierre, one's named Mr. Camille. They came from like schools that like troublemakers was in. So it's like they don't play that shit. And I'm like, yo, they always have like, every teacher. But you know, like, like they always say that, but Mr. Pierre and Mr. Camille, out the gate, they wanted to show they was the ones. Like, they, I mean, they was the ones, but they ain't the ones you would have messed with. You get what I mean? Like, Mr. Pierre and Mr. Camille, like, um, they was new. I never seen him before. I just kept on hearing stories when I was in third grade. When we all was moving on, like, people was like, who you got? I said, I got Mr. Pierre. I, I mean, I had Mr. Camille for my fourth grade year. But it's like, I'm saying, like, when people was asking around, because it was like four, four teachers possible for fourth grade year. So you have to eat one. So the bad bone kid was like, oh, I got stuck with Mr. Pierre. I got stuck with Mr. Camille, Mr. Pierre, Mr. Camille. It's like, I, I think the school purposely put the bad kids in Mr. Pierre, Mr. Camille class. I don't know why the hell they put me in Mr. Camille class, but they did. Like, you, you can't have all bad kids. You got to have good kids too. I was a good kid. 
you me. My, I basically like, I ain't going to lie, though. I ain't going to lie, chill. But, yeah, like, um, so I got picked. I was in Mr. Camille class, just chilling. Um, uh, First day, and then there was teachers in Mr. Pierre class. So every time we came out, we say, how was our day, Mr. Pierre, Mr. Camille class? He was like, Mr. Pierre don't play that. Oh, shit, he don't play. And things like that. I'm like, yeah, they all say they don't play. And things like that. But, um. Mr. Camille, he didn't play. Like, bruh, let me tell y'all something. Like, um, since we talking about Mr. Pierre, Mr. Camille. Um, so, you know how I told y'all the story of Horseman and, and Edison beefing. But before then, in elementary school, it was Shadowlawn and Tucson. Shadowlawn Elementary and Tucson Lowertree Elementary, Miami-Dade County. Y'all heard me? Yeah, but um, Shadowlawn... I think their school ran out of space or their school was under construction, shit like that. They made the Shadowlawn kids come to like Tucson to share the school with us in summer, in the summer. So I'm basically skipping over like fourth grade year because this is like after fourth grade, we we're about to go fifth grade year. But that summer, by that time, we all knew Mr. Pierre and Mr. Camille. But I want to make sure y'all understand who type of people was dealing with when it came to Mr. Pierre and Mr. Camille. So it's like, um, like Shadowlawn, just like Horseman and Edison, they was beefing with Tucson, and basically they had trouble. Like they was like they had pressure. They they was like oh shit, cause like when they sat in the cafeteria, they sat in one side. We sat here. We all look at each other, easting each other. What easting me? Easting me? Looking at someone, I'd be like, what the fuck are they talking about? Like you easting them? Like you looking up and down? Like staring at them? Like uh, examining them? Examining them, but trying them at the same time? That's what easting me. Y'all always need me to translate shit. Like y'all gotta learn the lingo, bro. That slang. Y'all heard me though. But yeah, like um, so they was we was beefing with Shiloh and shit like that. And then um, one day after school. There was a fight that inter that interrupted between a, a, a group of Tucson kids and a group of Shadowlawn kids. They was like, bam, bam, bam. like they were fighting shit like that. And then um, security guard was trying to break up, but they couldn't break up everything. Out of nowhere, bro, I still remember this day. Y'all gonna understand what type of teachers were. Out of nowhere, Mr. P and Mr. Camille came out of nowhere. Mr. Camille went, like, bro, like, do I gotta act this out? Mr. Camille went, like, like, man, he came and he, uh, he kicked uh, one of the Shadow kids in the behind. He grabbed one of the two so I can't, bah, and hit, it hit across the head. He, he kicked another way in the behind, bang, hit him one in the head, bang, like, things like that. Then he basically gave a Zloko, if you Haitian, you know, a Zloko is basically taking your fist like this and bang, hitting somebody in the head. And basically, they, bang, and he, they, he just like uh, slapping the taste off somebody across their head and kicking them in their behind. <laughs> and, they, and Mr. Camille was dropping, uh, like, girl, like, guys, girl. They didn't matter. He was dropping them left and right. Like, it's like you know how Stone Cold cleaned the house when WCW attacked. Mr. Camille cleaned the house on Shylon Kids and Tucson Kids to show he not showing favoritism. He just cleaned the house and made the security guards' jobs easier. I was like, bro, like y'all didn't. Mr. Camille didn't play that shit, bro. This nigga straight Haitian. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, but um. So show you the type of teacher Mr. Pierre is so you could get a it's like I'm skipping the whole fourth grade experience, but I'm telling y'all like stories of those two. Y'all see how Mr. Cam Camille clean house. Now let's go, Mr. Pierre. I in one of my past story times, I told y'all how me and Emil ha had basically was playing the spoon game, and then basically Mr. Pierre basically like was about to suspend, like he sent us to the office. Let me tell y'all the first time I met Mr. Pierre, Mr. Camille was busy. He had to go somewhere. So Mr. Camille kids went in Mr. Pierre class. We put together and Mr. Camille thanked him. And cause like, they was like kind of like brothers, like even and they was new, but they was also good friends too. So Mr. Camille told him to watch his class while he gone for a while. And Mr. Pierre said, no problem. We got in his class and we got to experience firsthand. Cause we all knew Mr. Camille didn't play. Like Mr. Camille, like before he left, said, Y'all bad behavior. We like, yeah, yeah, shit like that. Even the bad kids, like, they you could bruh. Like, I got story, bruh. Like, y'all don't understand. Stick or I got stories for days. But yeah, like, um, we got in Mr. Camille, in Mr. Pierre class, and we all sitting down with his students and shit like that. And then Mr. Pierre went on to teaching his class. He was like, oh, um, he said, and what is this, students? And they said, B. And they said, and what is this, A? He said, so when you put B and A together, they was doing some type of science shit. 
But Mr. Pierre was more like an English. He taught every subject. In, t- in, in elementary school back then, it was more like you had one teacher who teach every subject, so we didn't know what subject it was on. So he's like, B, A. And he said, you put that together? A. And he said, correct. And then he said, <laughs> he looked at the back of class, one of his students, he said, he said, George, George, because you know Mr. Pierre and Mr. Camille Haitian. Oh, my, these Haitians are funny on deck, bro. All right, so Mr. Pierre said, George, with the accent, he said, George, Judge, and he said, "What? Dang! I'm like people calling me and shit like that." He said, "What?" <laughs> he did like, I was like, "What? What? What did you say?" And he said, "He said, he said, man, you keep calling me, bro. I'm tired of shit." And he said, "He said, he said, what?" And he said, "Okay, class." He said, "Okay." He said, and then he basically, what thing is it used to do, right? Bro, if the fan wasn't open, he used to basically go on a chair. He used to like stand up on a chair and basically like um he used to basically stand up on a on a on 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 a desk like the desk I got right here. He used to stand up on a desk and be like <laughs> looking at the guy by his What is my name? And they said, Mr. Pierre. And he said, Am I wearing a pants or a skirt? And they'd be like, Oh, uh, they said, a pants. He said, Am I wearing a pants or a skirt? They be like, oh, pants. And he said, okay, all right. And they say, okay. Like, <laughs> like that. And he, he, like, he said, George, he said, come. He said, he said, your behind is going home. And he said, I'm writing you up. And George said, what the F? He said, eh, 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 eh. don't say nothing. Shut your mouth and get ready. <laughs> like, the, like, it basically, like, um, somebody was sleeping. He, we tapped. And he said, Ashley, Ashley, wake up, wake up. And Ashley said, yeah, yeah. He said, he said, he said, listen to what I'm teaching. And then, uh, and then Ashley said, Ashley said, man, I'm tired. He said, eh, 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 eh. listen what he said. He always used this term. He said, eh, eh. what am I wearing? A pants or a skirt? <laughs> like, like, oh, man. And he said, he said, oh, a pants. And he said, what? A pants or a skirt? A pants. He said, he said, then get, get your ass up. Stand up in front of the whole class. And then he, then he will stand up on the desk again. He said, this is Mr. Pierre class. This is my territory. What I say goes. All right? Okay. All right? Okay. They all repeat. It's like the pants of the skirt. And tell, tell him, you talking to me like that. And do I look like a woman to you or a man? So, like, even that's kind of is trying woman, though. You, you kind of say, like, they could talk to like that. I don't think he was saying that. I think he was more saying, like, like you disrespecting me. Do I look like a clown to you or something like that? Like, do I look like somebody you can just that's what I think he was saying. But Mr. 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 Pierre class was a, co- a comedy. But us and Mr. Camille class, we had discipline because we know not to try Mr. Camille like that. But we all was like in there. So we was all talking amongst each other. I was talking with the homies, and then we was chilling and we were playing video games on I think we didn't have phones back then. So we was playing video games on a computer and shit like that. And then just because we were playing games on a computer, and we wasn't supposed to, just because of that. Mr. Pierre, Mr. Pierre said, hey, 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 who told y'all play games? Who told y'all play games? And then basically, we was like, oh, like, he said, oh, sorry, and things like that. He said, sorry, sorry. He said, come to the front of the class. Come to the front of the class. He said, but Mr. Pierre, come to the front of the class. And then, like, basically, it was me, y'all know, McKinney, McKinney, and three other people. I, I just can't remember. It was, it was like four of us. And y'all know I ain't get trouble like that in, in elementary school because everybody knew my mom and dad. Everybody knew my parents. But basically, it's like, um, he may have stand in front of the class and he's like, he's like, he said, he said, you see these boys here? They think I'm playing. They do not know who Mr. Pierre is. But today, they will learn who Mr. Pierre is. And then he sat down. He pulled out the referrals. What's referrals? Referrals are written when they write you up, like for suspension, saying you home. It's on your records permanently, so you don't want that shit at all. Referrals was like the teacher's answers for everything, and they got to tie you, and they couldn't deal anymore. Or call the security guard. But I just always found that as a pussy uh, move and shit like that. I never got a referral written that day. Oh, shit. But y'all going to see what happened. So Mr. Pierre basically said, he said, they think I'm playing? He said, this is my territory. You're going to learn who Mr. Pierre is today. I'm like, we know who you with. And remember, at that time, I'm I'm like nine years old, eight years old. 
So we all nine like jits. Like we just jits mean youngin. Like you're young. And like 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 if I'm 35 and I see a, a 18 year old, you a jit because you're younger than me. A jit, a jit. That's what you. Yeah, I know the in my. I'm, there's, I can't keep on defying slangs. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, so um, he sat at his desk and he called each and one of us. He made us line up and then he looked at us. He's like, this, "How much do you want?" Five or ten, and then I forgot who was it from. Us, he was like, he was like, what are you talking about? He said, how much do you want? Five or ten? He said, five or ten. What? He said, how much days do you want your suspension to be? Five or ten? He said, he said, oh, we'll be suspended. We we just remember we're young, like nine, eight. We ain't want to be suspended. He's like, oh, we'll be suspended. He said, Mister Benson, hey, 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 you thought you could play games in my class? And he said. How much do you want? Five or ten? And then they and, we, and then then he started crying like, oh, 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 I this is And then Mr. B said, "Listen, listen to me. What am I wearing?" <laughs> bruh, bruh. He said, "What am I wearing? A pants or a skirt?" And he said, he, the, 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 whoever's in front of us crying, like, you wearing a pants. He said, yes. And now you know it's a difference. This is Mr. Pierre class and territory. He said, so how much do you want? Say or I give you more. And then he said, five. And he said, okay, five. Next. So then he called me and Mr. 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 And McKinney went up there together, like went to his desk together. He said, it. How much days do you guys want? And since we had we said, oh, we started talking Creole and we like, like in Creole. So basically what I'm about to say is basically like, um, we don't want no days. Like, um, like, like we're sorry. And he said, how much days do you want? He said, do Bob Lick and you, no, no, sorry, please. And then we like saying, please. And then he said, he said, eh, eh, what am I wearing? <laughs> oh my goodness. What am I wearing? A pants or a skirt? And we was like, you wearing a pants. And he said, no, you guys think I'm wearing a skirt. That's what. He said, this is Mr. Pierre. I'm like, all right, we get it. In my head, I'm saying that. I'm not saying it out loud. I was like, all right, we get it. You, 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 you Mr. Pierre class, you wear a skirt, you wear pants. Oh, shit. But we got Mr. Camille. He more badass than you. You don't even know what. In my head, I was saying all of this shit. And then we both said five. And, we, and he had us up there crying in front of the whole class, bro. Embarrassed us. Then he's like this. He said, I will give you guys one more chance. If you do that again in my class, you're going home. So he did all of that to make us cry our ass off, look pathetic, be clown in front of the class, and then make us sit down. Like, I don't even think he even had plans to write us up for real or send us home. His dumb ass made us look like, like babies. Like we was all eight and nine years old. You think I care? But I was mad that day. I was like, what the like like after you done crying, you was pissed off because this guy made you like shed tears and shit like that. Look stupid. But that was Mr. Pierre. Y'all saw with Mr. Camille how he cleaned house with Shadow too. And Mr. Camille I'll give you an example. <laughs> One time my dog Rodney was acting up in his class. And Rodney's like, man, and shit like that. I don't got time for this shit. So he stood up and said, Mr. Camille said, Rodney, Rodney. He said, he said, boy, you better sit your ass down. He said, man. And then Roddy went behind the table, behind, like, behind our chair, like, y'all see the curtain, but behind our chairs were always, like, this big wall. They could go behind, and then in the other side of the wall, where we put all our book bags. So Roddy go behind the wall, he said, F this shit. Like, he now, that's Mr. Camille. Mr. Camille went, he said, he said, Boy, he said, you better, you better sit your ass down. He said, he said, man, I'm not doing shit. And Mr. Camille, you eat y'all do like this, like cup, cuff his head, and bang, hit you with my hand. He said, sit your ass down. He said, man, you better not hit me, Rodney. He said, bang. He said, what? 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 And he's stepping on Rodney's shoes. Rodney trying to back up, and he over fall. And Mr. Camille just bang him, slapping him across his head. Rodney said, man, you better not do this shit no more. I'm gonna fuck you up. And then Mr. Camille said, what? 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 And he hit him with Rodney. And Mr. Camille like, 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 he just, <laughs> he fucking Rodney up. <laughs> and then Rodney was crying. And he said, get us them pictures. And Mr. Camille said, you should sit your ass down, boy. He said, like, you bad. Mm, I'm the wrong one. <laughs> and Rodney like sat down crying and shit like that. And after that day, Rodney never disrespected Mr. Camille. 
But that's to say, Yahoo, the two of type of people who did it. This was all Fort Ray year. Like, I had Mr. Camille, but now I understood what type of Mr. Mr. Pierre is. Uh, pants, not skirt. Mr. Mr. Pierre territory. And we, but we had Mr. Camille, who I felt like was more bad. Because I felt like Mr. Pierre, as much as he is all act, like, he not as, like, bad. Like, he not, like, as savage as he per time to be. Mr. Camille, he ain't play that shit at all. But those two did a dynamic duo in fourth grade year was crazy, bro. We had to deal with all of that year. But that's the story for the day. Hope y'all enjoy. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment, bro. Like, bro, y'all be playing. But it's your man C to J to C. And I'm out. It's a beautiful day. Be breezy. Yeah.